British forces from 1-6 Air Assault Brigade have arrived in the Afghan capital to assist in evacuating British nationals and entitled persons amidst the worsening security situation there. The Prime Minister announced military support to facilitate the next phase of drawing down British nationals from Afghanistan. Operation Pitting is the name for the military support to the evacuation of British nationals and former British staff eligible for relocation under the Afghan Relocation and Assistance Policy. Working alongside Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office and Border Force staff, a total of 5,725 British people, entitled Afghans and civilians from partner nations have been evacuated since the mission was launched. The Colchester-based brigade is specially trained and equipped to respond at short notice to international crises. The troops in Kabul are providing security as well as planning, logistic and medical support. Brigadier Dan Blanchford, who is heading up the operation, said that troops are delivering a highly complex and demanding mission at range and in difficult circumstances. The horrific difficulties which families and individuals have in getting to the airport are clear and my men and women on the front line have seen and witnessed some harrowing scenes, he said. I am proud of the work which our armed forces, who have shown professionalism and compassion in challenging circumstances. We are redoubling our efforts to speed up the processes and support the most vulnerable. The evacuation will run as long as the security situation allows in joint coordination with our United States partners. No firm date has yet been set for the end of evacuation flights. The United Kingdom urges British nationals to leave Afghanistan immediately, given the deteriorating security situation. We are providing support to help British nationals leave, including providing where appropriate emergency travel documents and loans. Military planners, logisticians and specialist personnel including dog handlers were among those who deployed to the country to ensure the safe evacuation of British nationals and entitled Afghans. Personnel from the United Kingdom High Readiness Force, 1-6 Air Assault Brigade, are working in Kabul this week to ensure the safe movement of British nationals and those eligible under the Afghan Relocation and Assistance Policy. from some of those being evacuated, said, Din Muhammad, who grew up in Leeds but has spent the last 20 months living in Kabul along with his family, was one of the passengers on the first flight out of the city. We decided to leave when my son and I went shopping on the 19th and saw how fast things turned bad. Muhammad, who helped train the British Army as a role player on exercises before moving to Afghanistan, said, I'm happy. I know when we came out of the vehicle to the airport, I said thank you, and they, said, no sir, thank you. Timor, 37, a capacity development worker from Hampstead Heath shares his thoughts for the people in Kabul. It's a difficult day for the people of Kabul. The situation has destabilized, there are very few ways out. I feel relieved to be here. It's better to see what happens next, I would like to come back and do my work in future if possible. The military has made me feel like I won't be attacked while I'm here. Now I'm on site I feel safe. People have been trying to help each other, bringing food, giving juice to children. The offices have been very cordial and friendly, I am grateful to the United Kingdom. Security firm owner James, from the East Midlands, has been based in Kabul for nine years. He said, the last two weeks has been possibly the most stressful of my life, organising clients who didn't see what was happening in front of them, and didn't believe the speed with which it did happen. Once I got my clients out and safe, I then started getting all my staff out, but we were constrained by flights, and then the rest has been really good, really smooth. British forces will remain in place to ensure those Afghans who are eligible for relocation to the United Kingdom that want to, are registered and evacuated as the United Kingdom accelerates the Afghan relocation and assistance policy. The Prime Minister will address Parliament on the United Kingdom work on the crisis in Afghanistan. The government is currently working at pace to evacuate British nationals, their families and former Afghan staff from Afghanistan, 520 British nationals, diplomats and former Afghan staff have left Afghanistan on United Kingdom military flights. In his statement, the Prime Minister will outline the steps the international community must take to avert a humanitarian catastrophe in Afghanistan. This requires an immediate increase in humanitarian aid to the country and region, ahead of a longer-term process for supporting vulnerable refugees. 
Home Secretary Priti Patel chaired an emergency meeting with her five country counterparts to discuss the developing situation in Afghanistan and what steps each country is taking to provide safe and legal routes for refugees. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, we owe a debt of gratitude to all those who have worked with us to make Afghanistan a better place over the last 20 years. Many of them, particularly women, are now in urgent need of our help. I am proud that the United Kingdom has been able to put in place this route to help them and their families live safely in the United Kingdom. The best solution for everyone is an Afghanistan that works for all Afghans. That means the international community coming together to set firm, political conditions for the country's future governance. And it means focusing our efforts on increasing the resilience of the wider region to prevent a humanitarian emergency. Home Secretary Priti Patel said, The United Kingdom government will always stand by those in the world in their hour of need when fleeing persecution or oppression. I want to ensure that as a nation we do everything possible to provide support to the most vulnerable fleeing Afghanistan so they can start a new life in safety in the United Kingdom, away from the tyranny and oppression they now face. Our country has a proud history of offering sanctuary to those in need. We will not abandon people who have been forced to flee their homes and are now living in terror of what might come next. The Afghan citizens' resettlement scheme will save lives. The government is clear that the new route will not compromise on national security and any person arriving on the route will have to pass the same strict security checks as those resettled through other schemes. The speed and flexibility of delivering the new route demonstrates the government's new plan for immigration in action, which seeks to make the system fairer by protecting and supporting those in genuine need of asylum. The government has also provided thousands of Afghans asylum in the United Kingdom and many Afghan nationals have come to the United Kingdom to work and study under the points-based immigration system.